So far, nearly 400 people have uploaded their stories on Define American, coming out as undocumented immigrants, and their stories vary, but all of them show that they want to be here, they are here, and they're contributing in a positive way to this country. And joining that campaign today, live on our air via Skype, is Gareth, Ta Gareth Kelly. Um, Gareth, what do you want people to know about your status? Uh, thanks, uh, Natisha, for having me. Um, mainly, it's I'm a white guy, from, originally from England, and people don't usually associate that with uh, undocumented immigrant. I've owned my own business for nearly 10 years now. I live here. I'm very active in the local community. And I just feel it's a really important issue uh, to help change the face of the uh, stereotypical uh, undocumented immigrant. And if I can come out and help share my story, hopefully that will um, uh, help others come out and share their story also. And you hit on something really important. There is that perception that most undocumented immigrants are Hispanics, are Latino, but you represent 11.7 million undocumented immigrants in this country. So some people might be a little critical, though. They're saying that you may be crossing the line here. You knew that 12 years ago when you came to this country, you came on a visa, but then eight years ago, that's when you became undocumented. So why should they be sympathetic to you when you know that you are here illegally? You know, I, the system is broken. Um, I did come here legally. The business I was working for folded during the uh, recession, and I bought my own business. I went into a bank. I got a bank loan to buy that business. No one questioned my status then. And then when I talked to my immigration attorney and asked to simply transfer my uh, work visa over to my business, he said, that's impossible. The system needs to change. I was left with a choice of either leave America, which is now my home, and go back to England, or continue to stay illegally and fight to make my business a success. There is no pathway, there is no line to stand in for undocumented people like myself. I talk to a lot of Americans and when they find out about my status, they often say, why don't you just become an American? I would become an American today if I could, but there is no system in place that allows me to do that. And you are taking a risk by coming out here with us today and telling everyone that you, un or you are undocumented. So what do you do now? What's the next step for you? Um, you know, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, Define American has really helped move the conversation along. I'm glad to be part of it. I think it's an important issue. I think for too long, undocumented people have kind of been in the shadows and not had their voices heard. We are 11 and a half million people in the U.S., it's absurd to suggest we're all going to get deported. It's not practical. It would cost too much money. There is families here, business owners here, property owners here. We're your colleagues. We're your friends. We're your neighbors. We're active in the community. I hope by me coming out like this that it will inspire others to also come out and share, those, and share their story. And we've heard a lot about this uh, recently in the news with Donald Trump and the comments that he made. What do you think about what he said? I think Donald Trump's a bit of a D-bag. Sorry, don't mean to say that uh, early on in the morning. You know, the right has, or Donald Trump, I should say, and a lot of the right has jumped on a lot of rhetoric that wants to paint uh, undocumented people, or as they prefer to call them, illegal aliens, in a negative light. Of course, with any group of people, there are going to be bad apples. But that's the same case of legal Americans or any other group of people. But overwhelmingly, undocumented people like myself are active members and good citizens of the community. And I think that Donald Trump and his, and his gang, they're just, they're just preying on you know, a small-minded, bigoted, xenophobic uh, group of the population. And I don't think long-term it's going to have any, uh, any uh, headway for them overall. All right, Gareth. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us here today. And best of luck to you, Melissa. Gar Thank you. Gary's Appreciate it. story really just paints a totally different picture, a different perspective of what undocumented immigrants are going through. Right, exactly. Yeah.